Hey guys, I'm Brianna, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick library book haul video because I went a little nutso at the library this month. Um, I haven't got a chance to go to Barnes & Noble um, and I'm limiting myself with buying books and I've done a great job with that. <laughs> yeah, so I've been just getting a lot, of, a lot of library books and if I really, really like something I read, I'm going to plan to buy it. Um, I probably won't go to Barnes & Noble and maybe I'll go April because I have my spring break. But I'm definitely going in May because May is a big book release month. But first, some of the, oh, before I start, some of these books will be in my wrap up. Which I'll probably be posting before this but I'm not sure yet. So first I have Dangerous Games by Tess Diamond. The, oh wait, this is a kind of like a thriller. A little bit of a romance but it's mainly like a thriller um it's like an fbi book then i have without consent by katherine fox this is a medical examiner book um you'll hear my thoughts more but i just wasn't a huge fan of it but yeah i thought i would like it better then i have kavanaugh cold case by maria don't know her last name but as, as you can see this month, I did a lot of medical examiner books. I don't know why, but I did. Um, so yeah, this one is a medical examiner detective romance book. Then I have Blind Date by Bella Jewel. Super excited to read this. This is book three. Um, they're kind of standalones, but they're connected. So the first one was... I'm forgetting the first one. That's not good. I know the second one's 72 hours. I forgot the first one, but it has the blue cover on it. And this is the third one, and I'm very excited. I'm definitely going to be reading this probably in the next week or so. So, yeah. Then I have Stone Cold Touch by Jennifer L. Armachout because I don't own this book. Unfortunately, I only own the first and the third one. So, yeah, <laughs> I got it from the library so I can show it to you guys and actually read it doing my annual, I guess, reread of the series. Then I have Kian by Tijin. Kian by K Tijin. Oh my god. Okay, her name is so hard to pronounce. And I absolutely love this book. Um, super good. Very short-ish. But yeah, definitely recommend this book. Oh, and I forgot. This is kind of like... I'm trying to think. I don't know how I would describe it. It's... So he's kind of a billionaire. Well, he is a billionaire, not kind of. So it's like a thriller, mystery, and a little bit of a romance. Um, it's I would get I would say it's like college type of book. So yeah, I would go with that. Then I got Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen because Daughter of the Siren Cre Queen just released, I think late February and I wanted to reread the first book to read the second book and I adored these books they will be in my wrap-up so good but this is a YA fantasy it definitely reads like the Erin Watt Royal series um I guess you would say I guess it would be a fantasy because there's like mythical creatures in it um it involves pirates um, oceans, sirens, everything it definitely reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean so if you like that movie you'll like these books. <laughs> then I have the whole Shatter Me trilogy. I guess it's a series now because Restore Me just came out. And the main reason I got these is because Restore Me is uh, just came out. Um, I wanted to reread these books and I remember enjoying them. Um, so I kind of wanted to refresh my memory and I didn't remember anything at all. But I'm that much through this book um this the first one shatter me then you have unite me which is like i guess two novellas then unravel me and ignite me they're all by tahara mafi um these are definitely dystopian they were i'm trying to think uh branded i forgot the author's name but definitely reminds me of that kind of gives me divergent vibes um it's dystopian and I know a lot of people don't like dystopian because it was kind of overplayed which I definitely agree with um that time period when all those books were coming out it definitely like kind of threw me for a loop and I don't really enjoy them as much anymore 
but now I have these books and I'm super excited to get to reading them. Um, as you can see with Shatter Me, I'm kind of like in between a whole bunch of books right now. Like I'm reading two physical books, one Kindle book, and I'm like all over the place, but it's okay. I'll be on spring break, so it's all good. Then we have It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I was kind of in a Colleen Hoover mood and um, she's actually going to book on. And, oh yeah, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am going to book on, which is in New York City this year. It's June 3rd and 4th, 2nd and 3rd? I don't know, it's his first Saturday and Sunday of June, but I'm going to be there. So if any of you guys want to come up and say hi, or just leave me in the comments below if you guys are going, I totally will hang out with you guys. I'm super excited. Um, but Colleen Hoover just announced that she'll be there. And I do have a love-hate hate relationship with her books. It's either a really huge hit or miss. So I remember loving It Ends With Us and um, and I remember crying in this book. So I definitely wanted to reread it. And I'm trying to decide what Colleen Hoover book to actually purchase. Because it's going to be between this one or Confess. Because Confess was phenomenal. I loved that book. So yeah, it's going to be between those two. And she has her new book coming out, All Your Perfects. Um, that's about a married couple. This one, all I remember from it, it's about a guy who's a surgeon and a girl who moves to town. She just graduated from college and I remember they both have like struggles and everything and they're trying to like, I guess, make a relationship. But this book was really, really good so I wanted to reread it and just kind of, I don't know, I was in the Colleen Hoover mood. Then I have... The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw. I think how to pronounce her name. This book is a witch book, kind of. It's like, it basically what happened was back in 1822, um, three sisters were convicted of being witches and they were drowned. Um, like they were tied with their ankles with rocks and they were drowned. And each year they come back to this small town and they possess these three girls' bodies and they take as many boys to the ocean as possible to basically get, like, vengeance on it. I am on page 78, so I'm kind of, like, this far in it. Everyone's been saying really good things, but I don't know how I feel about it so far. I'm not in love with the main character. I'm not really in love with the plot. I only like when they when the sisters have their own chapter, which is literally like a page. So I kind of want to read it to just see what happens, but I'm not like fully in love with it, which is very disappointed because I was super interested in this book. And I don't really read witch books, but this just seemed really interesting to read. So I think I'm going to go finish it. So yeah, this is yet another book I'm in the middle of. And then I have The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. This, well, this reminded my mom of, because I showed her it, um, in the beginning, it has, like, family trees, and then, like, the birth line of them, I don't know if you guys can see that, and I'm not really a huge fan of those books, because I can never keep the character straight in my head, so my mom was like, yeah, that reminds me of Game of Thrones, I had to, like, keep flipping back, um, to like figure out who was who so the plot's interesting it's about like um a girl who I guess they have like different houses that specialize in different things and then so like knowledge wit all that and then if you um I don't know if you like master one of them you become like something on the king's throne I don't really know but a lot of people were saying it's good, but it's slow. So I'm really interested interested to start it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like it 100%, but we'll see. Um, I'm very open to seeing stuff. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for my library haul. I definitely put more books on hold, but I haven't received them yet. Um, one of them was another Tijan book. A uh, Tijan book, sorry. Tijan book. Um, Cole, that one I think think is a mafia one and I'm not big on mafia books but it is a Tijan book so I'll try it um 
and there was another book that I requested but I forgot what it was but yes yeah, so that's it for my library books I hope you guys enjoy this and let me know down below if you find any books interested interest interesting I can't talk today guys or if you recommend any books for me that are similar to these uh so yeah hope you like this video be sure to subscribe if you want to see more bye